We thought it really begins as a micro adventure as a seven year old. My mother told me I couldn't have a toy, it just wasn't in the budget. As a seven year old, you don't hear what is and what isn't in the budget, you just know you can't have a toy. I grabbed a stack of penny savers, sold them to anyone I could, for anyone that would pay. Long story short, I purchased my toy. And I remember at that age, just really thinking like, I don't know what that is, but I'm just gonna keep doing it. It was about the feeling of liberation. When we partner with a particular school, institution, community-based organization, it's really heavily leaned on what they themselves as staff have already validated to be true and effective for their youth populations. We tend to focus on youth that come from communities that tend to not have many resources. The through line and connective tissue of our youth founders and successes is that they are all underestimated. That means that there is a ton of potential being overlooked. We learned about this program from our counselor at school. He's our college advisor. One of my friends had mentioned the Teen Center to me, and when I walked in, I met Sandra, who was running We Thrive. Miss Sandra was telling me about an opportunity where I can learn how to manage and create my own business. Being able to help is such a huge thing and goes such a long way. It really inspired us to join because the We Thrive program is giving us that opportunity. In lesson one, it starts, think of a problem in your community. How would you solve that problem? Number two, they then start iterating on, okay, who specifically are we targeting? We encourage them to get as specific as possible. The We Thrive program and team came up with ideas. We talked about leadership and working as a team to try to solve these problems in our community. Eventually they get to a point where they have identified their product, how they're gonna solve it. They have all the marketing materials in place as well. And then their next step, they order supplies from their vendors. Before we just issue out seed fund, we just have a check of balance. We're gonna say we're gonna support you and your dreams, then this is one solid mechanism to make sure you have what you need to succeed once you have that seed funding. I started my business when I was 16. I'm Kevin Mora, owner and co-founder of AKA. Our company strives to have affordable products that make people feel good. At the time, I, I really wanted to have a job because I saw that my parents were like struggling financially. So maybe having this sort of income, even though it was a little bit, I felt like I could help them in a way. We offer a set of four crystals, green adventurine, opalite, rose quartz, and amethyst. Having that help from We Thrive definitely helped bring my idea to life. We created our business stand-up. We sold pins and stickers to spread awareness about police brutality. It helped me a lot with understanding business management and setting up a business. We have a pop-up shop. They get to sell to their communities, whether it's nonprofit or for-profit. They, they get to share it. Hello, everyone. My name is Sandra. I oversee the Teen Center here. Um, and I just want to welcome you guys to the first We Thrive pop-up shop. We market it. We try to come by to the Hoffman Teen Center and students that have something to show. Seeing their product in local stores, small businesses, for us to help them achieve those goals would be amazing. It's really fun to see our communities and their communities from wherever they come from all come together and support it. The huge transition from when they first started, it's just been amazing to be a part of that. Their success are things that we've been able to showcase to other youth to say, hey, we're not just crazy saying you can do this because here are other individuals who look, feel, talk just like you. They are change makers in every single room they enter now. 